Hey everybody, you're watching We The Fandom, where we discuss comic books, pop culture, and the fandom experience. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to see more content. How's it going everybody? Jacob here at We The Fandom, and with the Eternals film coming out soon, I wanted to talk about the Celestials, which are the beings that appear to be the creators of the Eternals and possibly even being the antagonists of the film. So the Celestials first appeared in Eternals issue number one in July of 1976, and they were introduced to readers as being mysterious space gods and visitors from the stars, though their origin would be slightly retconned and expanded in the 2016 series The Ultimates. This new origin tells us that in the beginning of every Thing, there was a single sentient universe known as the First Firmament. With its sentience came loneliness, which led to it creating the Celestials. Some of those beings lived to serve and worship the First Firmament, and those were known as the Aspirants, and the others wanted independence to go out and create life and change as they saw fit, and those were the multicolored rebels that would come to be known as the Celestials. The philosophy of the rebels led to a civil war between the Celestials and the Aspirants, with the Celestials coming out on top after creating special weapons that they used to defeat the First Firmament, shattering it into pieces. By doing so, the pieces would go on to become multiple universes, establishing the second cosmos and the first multiverse. Celestials would go on to colonize the second cosmos, creating servants of their own known as the Omegas, while the wounded first firmament and their remaining aspirants fled. With every death and rebirth of the multiverse, the Celestials would continue to travel the cosmos, creating and altering life, with the seventh multiverse being the one in which most Marvel stories take place. The first enemy of the Celestials in the seventh multiverse was Null the Symbiote God, ruler of the Abyss, who enraged by the Celestials' presence, decided to wage war on the intruders, decapitating one of them whose head would become the space station called Nowhere. Noel would eventually be defeated by the Celestials and exiled where he would build his strength. Another force of opposition to the Celestials would be the Watchers, another ancient race who had sworn an oath of non-interference, and because of this, they took issue with the Celestials' genetic engineering. Of course, the conflict wouldn't be much of a conflict, as the Watchers refused to act. First Celestials to come into contact with Earth would be two Celestials, billions of years apart from one another, both infected by a species known as the Horde, an insect-like counterpart to those Celestials meant to create balance in the universe. Both Celestials ended up succumbing to the Horde and were buried in the Earth. The first purposeful visit of the Celestials was known as the First Host, who came to Earth to experiment on ancient humans, taking a large group of them and dividing them into thirds from one third creating the race of Eternals, godlike beings in human form, the Deviants, which were a variety of beast-like creatures, and the third group was given the latent ability to manifest mutant abilities at some point. The second host of the Celestials would arrive on Earth in 18,000 BCE. They happened to arrive in a great war between the Deviants on one side and the Eternals and the humans on the other. The Celestials were angered by the actions of the Deviants and so sank the continents of Atlantis and Lemuria, causing the people of Atlantis to eventually adapt to breathing underwater. The third host came to Earth about a thousand years ago, returning once again to experiment on the native species but this time three of the Sky Fathers, Odin, Zeus, and Vishnu, the leaders of the Norse, Greek, and Hindu pantheons respectively, teamed up to stop the Celestials, combining their might against the cosmic gods. However, a single Celestial named Ereshem the Judge had the power to cut the pantheons off from the Earth, leading to the gods vowing to not interfere with the Celestials for a thousand years. The fourth host arrived in the 20th century to judge the progress of the human race. They gathered in South America to perform their judgment, but Odin, alongside Thor and the Eternals, attempted to stop them. Once again, the Celestials were too powerful. However, the primordial goddess Gaia brought forth 12 perfect humans for the Celestials to judge, and the Celestials left satisfied, erasing the memory of the events from the minds of humanity. The Celestials were among many of the larger cosmic beings to be annihilated by the race known as the Beyonders during the incursions that led to the 2015 Secret Wars event. But, after the birth of the 8th multiverse, it was revealed that some Celestials had survived, though they were once again destroyed by the cosmic entity Logos, believing that they were in competition to be the new judgment of worlds. This all ended up being a part of the plot of the First Firmament to return to power, though the Celestials were brought back to life in order to defeat the First Firmament once again. Most recently in Marvel Comics, a group of Celestials were killed killed and reanimated by Null the Symbiote God for him to use as their pawns when he invaded the Earth. Besides the large hosts that have arrived on Earth to experiment on humanity, there have been other instances of the Celestials interfering with humanity as well as in the universe. For instance, they created the Black Vortex, a device made to unlock the cosmic potential of any being that submits to it. It is also believed that the Celestials influenced the progress of the ancient Egyptians, Incans, Mayans, and the Kingdom of Atlantis. The Celestials even offered the mutant villain Apocalypse some of their technology in exchange for payment that they would return for at some later date. In terms of their appearance and abilities, all Celestials take on an armored form. It is believed that their true forms are simply energy that exists in hyperspace, 
and the armor is simply a vessel. The Celestials seemingly have limitless cosmic powers and are considered to be omnipotent beings. The Celestials have the ability to warp reality on a small scale and were responsible for destroying the first iteration of the multiverse. It requires a being such as Galactus being at full power in order to take out one Celestial, giving you an idea about the scale and power. In terms of how they would be portrayed in the MCU, we don't have much to go off of. We saw one using the Power Stone in Guardians of the Galaxy, we saw the one celestial head as the space station Nowhere, and we knew that Ego the Living Planet was a celestial. Based on the trailers, the celestials mostly look like they do in the comics, but whether or not they have the same powers, we'll just have to wait and see. If you guys have any questions about anything regarding the celestials, feel free to post those in the comment section below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, hit that notification bell so you never miss a new video. I'll see you all next time.